Let's dip into this week's edition of Seaside City News, covering the events happening between April 18th and May 2nd. Join Sustainable Seaside, the city, and community partners in celebrating Seaside's 13th annual Earth Day event. It's happening Sunday, April 21st from 1 p.m. to 4 on the Seaside City Hall grounds. The afternoon will include an electric vehicle test ride, drive, and display show, music by Palenque Arts Youth Ensembles, a trash and fashion show, children's arts and crafts, over 30 information booths, a tree planting demonstration, and an eco-friendly raffle. It's going to be a fun, family-friendly program full of new and exciting ways to help protect our planet. Seaside produces over 21,000 tons of waste a year. Did you know that 67% of that goes straight to the landfill? You can inspire change in our city and the greater Monterey community by simply separating recyclables and organic materials from your garbage cart in order to keep them out of the landfill. Items in your recycling cart are sorted and recycled for a second life, and items in your organics cart become compost used to nourish many local agricultural fields. Check out whatgoeswhere.info to learn more about what can go in your blue and green carts. The Friends of Seaside Parks Association is hosting a number of park cleanups in the month of April. On the 20th, there will be a cleanup, as well as an Earth Day celebration at Beta Park. On the 27th, they will be at both Highland Otis Park and Martin Park. All cleanups take place from 10 a.m. to noon. Now is your chance to help the wonderful volunteers from FOSPA with their mission to beautify and maintain our parks. The Seaside Engineering and Public Works Department invites you to a ribbon cutting event for Catino Park on Saturday, April 20th at 9.30 a.m. Come see the amazing transformation of another beloved Seaside Park. This is your chance to meet the people responsible for breathing new life into Catino Park. Can't wait to see you there. On Tuesday, April 23rd at 5 p.m., there will be a special traffic advisory committee meeting at City Hall to discuss the San Pablo Avenue traffic calming project. This meeting is open to the public and is a chance to learn about how community feedback will be integrated into preliminary traffic calming plans for San Pablo Avenue between General Jim Moore and Mescal Street. For more information and to view the preliminary plans, check the News Flash section of the City of Seaside homepage. Mark your calendars for Saturday, April 27th from 8.30 to noon because the City of Seaside Neighborhood Improvement Commission is sponsoring a citywide cleanup in your neighborhood. There will be multiple dumpster locations throughout the city, including Highland Otis Park, Mouse Market Parking Lot, Orterra School, Pachetti Dog Park, and at San Lucas Street and Broadway Avenue. This event is for Seaside residents only, so make sure you get there early and clean out that clutter. Monterey County Works is hosting a job fair for teens and young adults at Northridge Mall in Salinas on Wednesday, May 8th. This event is a partnership with Salinas Union High School District, Mission Trail Regional Occupational Programs, and the Northridge Mall. From 11 a.m. to 2.30, the focus will be helping 16-year-old job seekers and employers come together face-to-face -to, -face to discuss opportunities throughout the county. From 4 to 6 p.m., all young adults are invited to join the job fair, but space is limited. Those interested in registering for this event, including employers, can call 831-796-3341 for more information. We appreciate you tuning in to Seaside City News, where we work to include, innovate, and inspire. We'll see you again on May 2nd. Until then, be safe, live fully, and enjoy all our city has to offer. Thank you, Seaside.